welcome to another Salesforce and Trailhead tutorial with myself, Jonathan Fox. And today I'm going to be going through how you can communicate between parent and child components within Lightning Web Components. So let's go ahead and have a look at Salesforce and see what I've got here. What you can see here in the green is my parent Lightning component, Lightning Web Component. And inside you can see that there are two child components. You've got the one in the red and the one in the orange. So I'm going to be demonstrating how we can get the parent to talk to the children, both by passing data and by calling uh, function methods on the child components, as well as child components passing back up the way any messages, um, data, that kind of thing. So we have a look at VS Code and what we can see here is that from the parent we are, as you can see, handling um, the, the operation of uh, typing in the message, storing in a variable, um, and tracking that. But the, the key element here about passing the data from the parent to the child is actually on the child. We are using a variable that we are decorating with the at API, which means it's accessible to the parent. And as you can see from the HTML of the parent, where we are inserting our component, we are passing in the variable um, from our parent Lightning Web component and uh, mapping it to the at API um, decorated variable of the child. What you can also see in the child uh, Lightning Web component, the second one, is that one of our functions is also decorated with at API, which means that when we go back now and have a look at the JavaScript for the parent Lightning Web component, we can see that we are actually query selecting the child components uh, function, and we're going to call that as well. So let's have a look at those two in action. Fantastic. So we can see that we can pass the data uh, when we type it to the uh, child, and we can also call the function from the parent which is on the child's JavaScript. Now, going back up the way, what we have to do is use something called custom events. We're going to dispatch a custom event. So once we click the send, whatever is in that um, input field, uh, we're going to pass back up to the parent. So having a look at VS Code, we can see that here in the child, on the click of that button, we've, we're dispatching the event. And then if we head to the um, the HTML of the parent, we can see the on um, message event, and then we can also see on the JavaScript handling it. Let's have a look at that in action. So I hope that was really helpful and useful. Um, the next video on this, I'm going to do this as a two part. The next video is communicating between two separate Lightning Web components. We're going to be using Lightning Message Service. But until next time, I was Jonathan Fox. This was my Trailhead and Salesforce tutorials. Uh, please feel free to comment below with anything you want to see in the future. But if you can, please subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, thank you.